Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to play The Sims 4 on a Mac for free. So this is a free-to-play game that you can get on your Apple Silicon Mac. And this has been natively optimized to take advantage of your Mac hardware. However, you cannot download the Steam version of this game. We have to use the EA version. And in order to do that, we need to download the Mac version of the EA launcher. So today I'm going to show you how to do that, how to claim The Sims 4 for free and add it to your EA library, how to download the software and how to get it working as well as possible on your Apple Apple Silicon hardware. So the first thing that we're going to do is to go to the EA.com website and then download the Mac version of the app. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. And what we want to do is to click the download now button and then we can download the software. So we just have to wait a few moments for this to load up. And then we're going to see this button here for the Mac version of the EA app. We're going to click on this to download this. We're going to click allow. And now this is downloading the EA app.dmg. So once that's downloaded, we're going to click on the download button here and then open this. This will also appear in Finder under the Downloads button and then double click on ea.app.dmg to open this up. So here we're going to go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. And now what we're going to do is to drag and drop the EA app into the Applications folder and let go. And that's going to go ahead and install. So within applications, we're going to scroll down until we find the EA app. Then we'll double click. This is saying that it's verifying the EA app. Then we're going to press open here. Then we're going to type in our Mac's password, press OK. Then the EA app is going to open. We're going to press allow. And then we need to sign into our EA account. So if you don't have one already, you can go ahead and create an account for free. I'm going to sign into my account now. Here it's asking us to verify our identity, send the code, type in the verification code that gets sent to your email account. So now the window is opening up. And we're now signed into our account. So if you don't have The Sims 4 attached to your account already, then just scroll down to the bottom of the EA app and then click on Shop the Catalog. Then what you want to do is click on this profile icon and then sign into your account again. Type in your email address and password, same as before. And then what you can do is just go down and go to the simulation section, go to The Sims 4. And then you'll get an option here to add the game to your account. And then it's going to appear in the EA desktop app. So anyway, once we have gone ahead and added The Sims 4 to our account, we have this option here to download. So if we mouse over here, we can see that there's a new download button. We can press the download button here, let's download. So here it's saying that it's basically getting ready to download. Here it's asking us where we want to actually download. So we're going to put this in our applications folder. So just go ahead and click next. And then we're going to press the download button here. Now it's saying preparing and it's going to go ahead and do a full download of The Sims 4. So it's about 22 gigabytes in size, so just wait for that to complete. So now that the download's completed, we're ready to go ahead and press the play button. So just press play here and it's going to go ahead and launch The Sims 4. So here you can see that The Sims 4 has loaded up. So this is full screen at the moment, it's loaded up in game mode and it might take a few minutes to get to the main menu. Just go ahead and skip this. And what I do recommend that you do is tweak some of the graphics settings, especially if you're using a MacBook Air, you might want to turn on V-Sync. So this limits the frame rate of the game. So make sure vertical sync is turned on. So this game is a pretty big one in the series. It is over 10 years old at this point, but it has an excellent Mac port. It also recently received a native ARM binary, making it run much more efficiently on Apple Silicon Macs. Now, if you've never played The Sims before, it's a pretty basic life simulator. You can create a sim in your own image if you want to. They can get a job, buy a house, make friends, form relationships. And there's tons of content to try out, including huge quantities of expansion packs and DLC. Anyway, it's cool to see that big games like this are still getting updated and supported on Apple Silicon hardware. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.